Hello, and welcome to the Clinical Liver Diseases video series. CLD is an official digital learning publication of the AASLD. My name is Dory Ueli. I'm a general surgery resident at the University of Colorado, and I am an author of the paper entitled The Current Landscape of Pediatric Living Donor Liver Transplantation in the United States, Benefits, Challenges, and Future Directions. I was mentored by Dr. Megan Adams, who is our Surgical Director of Pediatric Living Donor Transplantation, and Dr. Elizabeth Pomfret, who is the Chief of Transplant Surgery at the University of Colorado. Living donor liver transplant is an excellent option for candidates on the liver waiting list, especially children, because the left lateral segment tends to be a great size match for pediatric recipients. The key benefits of living donor pediatric liver transplant are improved waiting uh, list survival and superior post-transplant survival. Recent studies from both the US and Europe have demonstrated that higher volume of living donor liver transplants is associated with decreased pediatric waiting list mortality. And similarly, multiple studies have now shown better recipient and graft survival with living donor liver transplant in comparison to deceased donor liver transplants in the pediatric population. Living donor transplantation also has uh, the benefit of being semi-elective in nature, which is unusual for liver transplantation. So it can be scheduled at a time that is convenient for the recipient and their family and offers the medical team a chance to ensure that the patient is medically optimized going into their transplant. And this is in contrast to deceased donor transplantation when the recipient tends to need to be very sick in order to be high enough on the waiting list to get a liver. At the University of Colorado, we also obtained very high quality detailed imaging preoperatively with 3D reconstructions of the donor that allow us to carefully plan for both the living donor operation as well as the recipient operation. And that helps us ensure good size matching and prepare for any reconstruction that may be necessary during the recipient operation. The main challenge facing pediatric liver donor liver transplantation is that it's just not being performed enough in this country. Only about 10 to 15% of pediatric liver transplants actually come from a living donor and only half of centers that perform pediatric liver transplants have done any living donor transplants in the past 10 years. So there's a serious geographic limitation in being able to access the option of living donation because so few centers perform them in this country. It's also known that African-American candidates are half as likely to receive a living donor transplant in comparison to Caucasian candidates and it's also been shown that candidates with lower socioeconomic status are also less likely to have access to this important life-saving transplant option. These disparities definitely need more research to better understand why they're happening and identify ways to address them. One exciting relatively recent development in the field um, that we chose to highlight in our article is that is the rise of non-directed living donors. These are highly altruistic individuals who choose to donate a portion of their liver to a stranger on the waiting list. These donors are also commonly referred to as altruistic anonymous living donors. We performed our first non-directed donor pediatric liver transplant in 2017. And since then, more and more of these donors have approached our centers and other centers across the country and have successfully donated to both children and adults. We have observed that these donors have had a dramatic effect on driving down our pediatric waiting list. That's a summary of the key points of our article. I hope that you uh, read it and enjoy it. Um, on behalf of all of us on the CLD team, uh, I hope you found this commentary and summary useful. For more information about living donor pediatric liver transplantation, please visit us at www.cldlearning.com. Thank you so much for watching.